What's up? Good morning, Untouchables. Shout out to everybody who've been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos. Um, I really appreciate all 257 of my subscribers. So we are growing, and I appreciate that. You know, we're we're averaging, you know, two new subscribers a week. You know, I would like to have more, but hey, I'll take it. I appreciate the two that, that are subscribing to the channel and are liking it. But today's video is about, you know, another gun store has been targeted in the city of Detroit. That's what we need, right? That's what we need. And... It was a... It was a very coordinated attack. It may seem kind of sloppy, but you got to give it to these criminals, man. They, the first one, Freedom Holsters in Westland, you know, I just came from there not too long ago. You know, I'm always going around shopping for ammo, you know, checking on prices and things of that nature. But, you know, these, these criminals... These criminals are getting desperate, man. These criminals are getting desperate. And as stupid as we want to say they are, you know, they, it takes a lot of strategic planning to rob a gun store. Like, yeah, they just took a truck and they ran through the front door. But, man, they had, eight, they had six to eight people strategically pulling. They said the guy from both gun stores... They specifically targeted certain rifles and handguns. Specifically targeted certain rifles and handguns. So the first one was in Westland. The second one was in Dearborn. You know. So between, and they're pretty, the police are saying that the robberies are connected. So we got a we got a couple questions that need to be answered. The guy said they got away with the scars, they got away with the they got away with the AKs, they got away with the Dracos, they got away, they got away with all the good stuff, y'all. They didn't go for the little bullshit nine millimeter. They got away with the good shit. They got away with the good shit. Okay. They got away with the shit that you got to finance and get. You know what I'm saying? They got the 6.7s. They got the they got the 6.5 Creedmoors. They got the 308s. They got the heavy artillery shit. They didn't go for the 9s. They didn't go for the, the little 40s. They went for all the high-powered ass shit. Okay. So. You know. That should go to show you that, hey, man, that this shit is real. This shit is real, y'all. This shit is real. You know, what are, what are they going to do with these high-powered weapons? You know, that's the real question. That's What are they going to do? Nothing positive, I can tell you that. They're not going to sit in and wait and defend their homes. They're going to go and they're going to start terrorizing the cities of Metro Detroit. You know, and I'm going to be honest, I don't believe they're going to get caught. I don't believe they're going to get caught, y'all. You know, that's sad. That's sad, man. So, me being a prepper and just looking around, and I love my city, man. I love Detroit. As bad as it is, I love my city. You know, a lot of people say you should just get out of the city of Detroit. Crime is everywhere, man. Crime is everywhere. I used to live in the suburbs. And let me tell you, is not I'm not going to be honest. It's not as bad, but they still hit crime. People, um, 
my mother, she lives in one of the best suburbs in metro in the metro city. Her car was still stolen. Some her neighbor house was still broken into. And if not, they might be easier targets. You know what I'm saying? It's less prevalent, but it does exist. You know what I'm saying? You can't run you can't run from you can't run from crime. Crime is everywhere, man. Crime is everywhere. Let me tell you guys, crime is everywhere. Yeah, you're better off in your million dollar home. Your five hundred thousand dollar neighborhood, better than my little sixty seventy thousand dollar house. You know what I'm saying? But crime is everywhere, bro. And you can run all you want, but eventually you're gonna have to stop running. And that's why I live in the city of Detroit now because I'm not good at running. I'm going to live where I want to live. I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah. Do I? Do we all want to live somewhere better? Yes. Do I want to live somewhere better? Yes. But my house is paid for. And I have no. I have no motivation to go back into a 30 year mortgage at this point in time. You know, if something was to happen where God blesses me, where I'm able to afford that and do that, maybe. But. At this point in time. My house is paid off. I have no mortgage. I don't pay rent no more. I don't live in the greatest community, but my community is, in my opinion, pretty decent. It's not the greatest. I do live in the city, but, you know, but my point of saying that is you think you're safer living in these suburban communities, but you're really not because they're going to target you. They targeted this gun shop in Westland. The other one was in Dearborn. Those are better communities than Detroit. And they drove the truck right through. They drove the truck right through, y'all. Strategic push. They stole over, between the two robberies, they got over 100 guns, y'all. Over 100 guns. Let that set in. There are a hundred stolen firearms on the street right now. Very scary. Very scary. I am not easily rattled, but I will say that knowing that a hundred extra 308s, AKs, Scars, MP5, I mean, high power. They got the debt. You might as well just let the Taliban in because that's what happened. They just armed the whole goddamn Taliban. You know what I'm saying? When they robbed this store, they had two people outside patrolling, making sure that nothing, nobody messed with them. It was, it was a covert operation, really. I hate to say it like that. Very messy, but they got the goddamn job done. As much as we want to hate them, they, they got to be pretty goddamn bossy to go through the goddamn front door. And I guess they said, shit, we got to shoot it out with them. We going to shoot it out with them. We got the guns already. And the police actually caught up with the second robbery in Dearborn, but they said they they didn't pursue it because the pursuit got too dangerous. That's crazy. So they saying they caught up with them, but the pursuit got too dangerous. The pursuit got too dangerous, y'all. So they let them go. They let them go. So, you know what that tells me? One of two things. You looking for the police to save you? It ain't gonna happen. 45 ACP Taurus. My EDC today. 250 grand. 
Winchester 22LR on me. Yeah. Okay. Police ain't gonna save you. They they hit them and they stopped pursuing them. Because they said it got too dangerous. Real talk. Real talk, bro. Real talk. You guys, get up on your preps. Get up on your preps, man. I know we all financially strapped right now in some kind of way, whether it's school, business, house, family, but I'm dead serious, you guys. If I've never been serious with you guys before, I'm speaking from the heart. Especially if you are in the city of Detroit or Michigan or Chicago or California. If you're in Chicago and Detroit, you already know. You know. But it, you know, it's about to happen. Whatever something's about to happen, man. Hopefully we'll be ready. It's Untouchable City saying stay up. I love you with the love of Christ. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Like, share, and subscribe. One.